Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and boy, have I got something awesome for you. There's been a print that lots of people have printed, and it's in dual extrusion flavor, and big flavor, and small flavor, and whatever. It's the Hairy Lion. And this is my entry into the standard Hairy Lion. This was printed on the Raise 3D N2 Plus, and it was printed in the uh, Raise 3D yellow PLA. Turned out pretty good. And the idea is simple. You're supposed to cut away this sacrificial wall where all of these hairs are tied into, and then you use a blow dryer to make the hair malleable and, and moldable, and you, you comb the lion's mane of plastic hair back, and then it looks awesome. That's what we're gonna do. You may be wondering why this tape measure is here. It's because I have quite possibly the world's largest hairy lion print on my G-Max right next to me here. But let's, let's first get this one done. Let's see how it looks. Let's perfect our technique and then let's go for the world record. All right, here's, here's how I think we should do it. I've got my trusty Swiss Army knife here. I'm gonna cut along the hairs on the side and then hopefully free the sacrificial wall. And as I do this, let's talk about this model. This was made originally as an HD lion with a high polygon count by Thingiverse user Jeffro. Jeffro is also in the 3D printing Facebook group I'm a part of, and he's an amazingly talented designer. And Primos is the one who remixed that and added the hair. All right, I went around the hair with my Swiss Army knife, and now I'm gonna pull away the sacrificial wall. And there it is, there's a few more attached. Actually, there's, there's one more attached. There we go. So here's the lion, and here's the sacrificial wall. Awesome. Now, we need to fire up the blow dryer. I had to ask my wife if we had a blow dryer. Sure enough, we had a blow dryer. All right, I'm gonna put it on the high setting and I'm gonna hold it back here and see what happens. It might be loud. I'll try to duck the audio a bit, but let's see what happens. Now we'll go to low, just to apply some heat. Oh man, I am not a stylist, let me, let me tell you. I wonder if it has something to do with the Raise 3D PLA? Or maybe I need to heat it more? All right, and then I think we can go back like that. All right, that, friends, is our windswept lion. Here, let's see, let's do that. Maybe it'll focus on it, right like that. This is uh, this is a cute little lion. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's it's a little awkward to have to hold a blow dryer, and to uh, then blow dry the hair. You have to hold the model, and then you have to once the hair is a little bit melty, you you need to move it around. And so I'm hoping on the bigger one, it's going to be a little bit easier. It looks like I know the techniques that's that's needed. You have to heat the hair to the. You don't want the blow dryer itself to push the hair around. You wanna heat the hair, not too fast, that's why we're not using a heat gun. And then once you heat the hair, you wanna use your hand to mold it about. All right, now it's time. We've perfected our technique. Let's go for the world record. Ha ha, here it is. This is the largest hairy lion, I think, that exists. In fact, let's get out the tape. The tape says it is 12 and a quarter inches tall. The G-Max build plate is 16 by 16, and it takes up nearly the full build plate, which is just crazy. As I was printing this, and it took, let's see, it took just under 100 hours to print this thing consecutive. Makeshaper donated a 2.25 kilogram roll for this print. I would take pictures of it at night, and during the day, I would text my wife from work, and she would send me pictures of this. I was able to catch it bridging for the first time, which was really awesome. Some issues, though. If you notice, there are some problems right here. And as it was printing and the bed was moving, it would wiggle. This part of the wall would wiggle because it wasn't connected yet. And that's why there's some layering consistencies. The layering of the sacrificial wall doesn't look as good as it could. There are some some Z issues on the lion's rear end. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of it on the inside. So here's the plan. I'm gonna free the sacrificial wall from this side here, and then I'll come around, and then I'll free the lion's bum 
hopefully bring the paws and hopefully we'll have it. And then I had to get a bread knife because it has to reach down to get all the hairs. Okay, so in order to free this, I'm gonna use a chisel to lift up an edge and then I'm going to use the build tack spatula to get under it. See, it's stuck down pretty good right there. Something gave. Ho, ho, ho! Let's bring it over here. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. This is huge. Holy cow. Just under 100 hours, make shaper blue PLA on a 2.25 kilogram roll. Now we need to free the sacrificial wall. I'm a little scared right now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I gotta stand up for this. <sighs> okay, I made a mess, knife looks okay. I think the wall, I'm sweating. I think the wall can come off, almost. Oh, it's still stuck. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on. <sighs> ah! <laughs> oh, oh, it's heavy too. It's so heavy. There you go, look at that. Thank you. It's wiggly too. Look at this giant mess uh, I just created. <sighs> all right. There's some shards in there. Let's just get them all out. So it looks like this model did have some problems on the top where the hairs were, they weren't connected to anything. It looks like it was having to bridge a bit at the very top. Um, uh, let's see, this one's fallen out, so we'll just take that, take that. Primos, if you're watching this, you're gonna have to fix the hairs at the top. All right, that's probably good enough for now. Boy, it's just full of hair fragments. Now is the time for us to style this lion's mane. <laughs> Poor lion. I had no idea how to free that lion. I, I, I mean, there's, there's hairs all over. So I'm gonna try to heat these and bring these up and over. There we go. I am no barber. I wonder if the, the actual size of the hairs themselves has something to do with it. All right, I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna look at the camera. I guess too hot. There's so much hair. So much hair. Okay. How about this? I'll go high heat over here. This is hard work. Man, shout out to all the stylists out there.
right, looks like I can use the, the heat to curl the hair, I guess. Let's see. Come here, lion. I'm just trying to form it around his face. But what do you think? Let's see, let me get a little closer. There we go. All right, this is, uh, this is cool. So here's the model we had before, and there's the, the big lion. Uh, looks like he still has some hairs falling out, uh, some curled. It's a very stylish lion, that's for sure. Overall, the print quality is decent. Um, the lion itself, it looks like there's some, on the bum, there are some layering issues. I don't know if you can tell from that angle right there, but I just was showing you a lion's rear end, so you were looking at it. That was fun. This is cool. A big thank you to Make Shaper for that 2.25 kilogram roll of PLA. It came in handy, and it looks like I still have some more on there, maybe. Maybe I can print something else. A big thanks to Jeff Rowe for the original Lion HD, the high poly count Lion. A big thanks to Primos who made this iconic model for us all to print. He did say once I release this video, big G-Max version of the hairy lion, the model itself will be available in all the standard locations where this little one is available. So that's nice. Let's see, Make Shaper, Jeff Rowe, Primos, a uh, big thanks to my friends at G Create for making that awesome printer that was able to print this. Yeah, let's call it good. Hey, you know what? You're the king of your own jungle. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. That was terrible. As always, high five. Roar!